Hi guys, Luton here, and uh, of course we're talking Battlefield 4 China Rising DLC this week. Uh, you may think that I was going to do the obligatory these are my first thoughts video and review. Actually, I'm going to hold fire on that, and I have something in the works that I'm kind of looking at, so there's a reason why I'm just waiting for a few days on that one, but it will be coming in the next uh, five days or so, something like that. So what we're going to be talking about very briefly today is of course the news that uh, all other Battlefield producers will be talking about, the Battlefield 4 DLC stop confirmation. And this is coming from EA and um, basically what they've decided to do is they decided to say hey okay we're going to stop work on the current DLC system and we're going to work on instead building, patching the game, fixing it, getting it to the point where everything is working as intended. I'm just going to read you EA's statement. It says, first we want to thank the fans out there that are playing and supporting us with Battlefield 4. We know we still have a ways to go with fixing the game. It is absolutely our number one priority. The team at DICE is working non-stop to update the game, and since Battlefield 4 China Rising expansion pack was already in the final stages of development by the time the issues began with Battlefield 4, we decided to fulfil our promise to deliver it this week, but we're not moving on to future projects or expansions until we sort out all the issues with Battlefield 4. We know many of our players are frustrated and we feel your pain. We will not stop until this is right. Um, now, there's a couple of things to address. First of all, I've seen some people saying that there will be no more DLCs until this is sorted. Uh, I actually don't think that's true because um, I've seen as well people saying things like oh there's not going to be any second assault etc etc. I'm pretty sure that second assault will release um, because of the fact that it's complete. Why would you not release it? It's complete already. It works already. I suppose the only reason it may not would be if they were concerned that by releasing it there may be associated bugs with that DLC release and they want to get other things sorted out first. But um, I, I feel pretty confident that Second Assault will probably release on time and so on and so on. Um, as regards other DLCs that are further into the future, well hey, okay for sure, they may stop on those and then address them as they get to them, but even then that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be delayed. So I wouldn't really be concerned personally that this is going to have a massive impact on DLC release dates, and if it does, well so be it, it's much better that the game is in a stable, consistent state. Uh, there has obviously been many issues with the game since release, such as the main kind of netcode issues, the double damage issues, uh, connection issues, crashing and so on and so on, and all of these kind of associated bugs. Um, but it, it, it just kind of shows that what I have said all along, that it's very, very important for a company to communicate with its community, to get involved, to take the lead and, and, and take the, you know, the pressure and that they, they feel they need to do. Um, it's interesting as well that so many people in the past have kind of said, well, you know, they should have just delayed the game if they didn't want to, you know, have all these issues to deal with. Well, it's interesting that they've taken such a strong stance in saying, look, we're going to just put our resources into this and deal with it right now. And I think that is a great sort of signature of showing what it is and what it means to them and, and how they want to deal with these things. So I take this as a real strong positive. Um, I think it's a really great thing for them to do. I'd be interested, of course, to hear what you guys think about this. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I mean, personally for me, but again, I feel like overall I've had like a positive experience compared to maybe some people who have not um, and that's the thing is that everybody has different levels of experience for some people it's been more of a problem than others uh, and, and, and so everyone kind of differs on that I mean one counterpoint here would be you know for personally myself I feel like I've generally lately had a very good experience with the game and this is going to be taking resources away from other things um, so there is that kind of counterpoint to make you know sometimes uh, you have very loud people shouting the odds about this is a problem this is a problem when in the scale of things it's not always a problem on the other hand obviously you know they want to listen to the community and if the community is saying these are things that are a really big problem and we know that there are things that have been a big problem i have said things like the net code you know you get locked through buildings you run around a corner you try and drop a guy he just turns and one hits you there's the damage bug etc all these things were critical to the game the crashes of course which which were fixed as well but I, I i still think that they have done a great job with it um i mean when you look at the fact that they were running the sort of forum post informing people of stuff that they were working on they were running a checklist of things that were pending and things that were fixed uh when i've spoken to developers at dice themselves and obviously I, I, i've spoken to people who have said they are as frustrated as others they want this game they want this product that they've worked so hard on they want it to be running absolutely perfect and so i think overall it is a, it's a good choice to make to say okay look we're going to draw the line we're going to fix this stuff and then we're going to move on i think that's a positive 
important message to take and I think that overall people are going to take that positively and also uh, in the scheme of things as developers I think that's in today's situation an important stance to take it shows that they are actually listening they're not just blanking out the criticism they're sort of saying look we have listened we're going to do something about it I think overall you can't disagree with that drop your thoughts below guys and as I say I'll have my review and thoughts on the DLC coming up this week but I can tell you overall I'm enjoying this DLC very very much indeed but all that to come this week stay with it guys stay subscribed like the video if you enjoyed it I'll see you next time for some more Battlefield 4